Hi, uh, I'm Michael Kent. I'm a horse trainer here at Cranbourne and well versed in the use of the treadmill in relation to exercise and rehab on horses. The benefits are great. So, a horse coming off a tendon or a suspensory injury, first port of call is to confine that horse for a while. So, then the sooner you can exercise that horse and control his exercise, the better result you have. So, being on a treadmill, obviously, you control the speed and the distance they work and they can't do too much or load that tendon or suspensory unnecessarily. The other benefit of the treadmill is the ground never changes, so it's very smooth. The horse is very sure of putting his foot down onto that treadmill. And probably the best benefit of all is you can incline it. So when you incline the treadmill, you produce what is called eccentric contractions, which is the ideal scenario for a tendon or a suspensory rehab. What that means is you're stretching that tendon while it's under load and lengthening it. We've had some great success rehabbing tendons now to the point where it's not even a major concern like it used to be and get them all back to racing and reasonably quickly. Possibly even those horses could be maintained and trained on a treadmill, do all their fast work on it. Tenons and suspensories hate deep sand, so they're giving them that really even firm surface and a straight line, get them really fit for racing without uh, unnecessary damage. We've discovered that using the treadmill has actually been a good way to train a horse, and especially when you're doing interval training, because you're controlling that speed exactly. It's very hard to get those accuracies with a rider on a track. Track surfaces change and the horses can be a bit free, and obviously you can get a lot more work by shortening up the heats rather than doing one long session and creating fatigue. The other thing about being on a treadmill is you're there dynamically, you're watching his recovery, you know if he can handle the next heat, so we often do three heats up to a minute at a time, sometimes two minutes for the big horses, and we monitor their heart rate and then take post-exercise lactates to determine how that horse has coped with that session. And it's really good insight into your horse before you even race him. And I find it very interesting to listen to them breathe. You'd be quite amazed at horses that have these little wind anomalies or hold their breath and don't breathe every stride. And as a trainer, to sit there on the treadmill and watch that horse work so closely to it, it really gives you a good insight into them. Another key benefit is obviously you're in a straight line and if you look at horses that train left handed like they do here in Victoria, you stand behind these, especially horses that aren't well muscled behind, nearly every one of them is pushed up on the right hand side, they're pushed up their sacrum just from loading it as you're turning all the time. So the best exercise for a sacrum is a straight line trotting, so horses that have sore backs, uh, again it's a great benefit that we find with the treadmill.